Hi vintage lovers, it's a random lady, it's the best day. It's Redbird Vintage Box Day. All right, so I'm gonna try to make this video as short as I possibly can considering the fact that I get the big box. So I get accessories plus clothing and I got a, I think the measurement is called a crap ton um, of add-on items. <laughs> think I think I added I think I got a lot I actually uh, haven't been sleeping a lot and I've just been ordering things online so I think I, I ordered a lot more than I should have so let's get right on into this so I just snipped it on open and here we go oh, this is always so exciting for those of you who get the box don't you, you you get like you know almost like a adrenaline thing like oh, what I get what I get for me anyway I guess I'm a shopaholic. I should probably seek help for this, but okay. Yay, it's Redbird Vintage Box Day. Okay, Kate included a few extra do to wear, new extra for to wear. I don't know, hope you love everything, Sarah. Sorry, Sarah, I'm sure you have so many of these to write that by the end your handwriting gets a little uh, funky, but I'm sure I'm gonna love everything. So my little extra piece here I see is a screw back earring that is green and gold. And I'm just collecting all these little bits and pieces and I'm gonna do something with them. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'll show you as soon as I figure it out. But here's my little broken piece. Ugh, I probably should have like filed my nails before this. Don't look at my nails. Look at the things. The things are better to look at. <laughs> okay. I see lots of stuff. Ooh, I got a different bag this time. This is the first time. I've seen other people with this really pretty floral bag before. Um, and I've only gotten the uh, that burlap and lace one before. So I'm excited to get something new. And this is perfect for spring. <sighs> I'm so excited. Okay. Beads. So I've got blue and green. This is a three strand. This is cool. I don't have anything like this. This reminds me of something that like would have been in my grandmother's bag to me. Oh, I like it a lot though. You can see nice blue and nice green and the um the details the silver details on the clasp on both sides it's quite nice i like this a lot and i don't have anything like that so hooray <laughs> and the weather is slowly starting to get better here so i'm going to be able to start wearing all of this soon i see a pair of green i love green they know that now oh these are cool i don't have anything like this either these are you could see there's a clip-ons and they are a light green. They say something on there. What is this? I have to get glasses and I'm not ready to do that, but thankfully they make cat eye glasses. So, uh, oh, it says Japan. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, what brand is this? So these are Japan. Here we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. And it's a nice spring green, too. It's like a light green. Ah. Here's a brooch. Kind of matches what I've got on right now because I've got brown on. I wouldn't put anything through this, though. But it's a nice brown with amber stones. And I actually got a amber necklace, uh, amber stone necklace from them. Last box? Two boxes? Ah. This is my fourth box, so now they're starting to blend together, so. But I have a necklace that would go very well with this, so. I've got more stuff in here, my goodness. Ooh, more clip-ons. These are also very nice springy. These are blue. Let's see, do they say Japan also? They say something. They say made in Western Germany. And here we go. You can see these are cool. I don't have anything like these either. I don't have a lot of stuff with beads, so these are these are going to be kind of cool. Okay, moving on. Ah, 
Ah, earrings that match. That brooch I just showed you guys. So clip-ons. And I'm glad these are clip-ons. I actually prefer clip-ons to the screw-back ones. The screw-back ones take me forever to get on, and then I feel like I'm going to lose them. Like these, they stay put. But how cool is this? I like this a lot, and I like the uh, the natural color, the brown, and the amber is quite nice. This is nice. There's fuzzy stuck to this one. I'll have to clean that out later. Okay, and I got two more things in here. This was a request. These I requested. They're little black bows, post earrings, black and white bows. How cute is this? I have a pair of bronze bows and I have a pair of silver bows and now I have a pair of black and white bows. I like these a lot. These I like a lot. And of course the, the uh, post earrings are just so much simpler. <laughs> Once you have pierced ears they're just so much easier but I don't mind the clip-ons at all so. Oh these are funky too. These are speckled clip-on earrings. Very interesting. These say Hong Kong. So all of them have, not brand, but these are interesting. They're green and like navy blue speckly. And you can see this one's a lot greener than this one, which is bluer. But they're cool. I have a lot of green tops that this would probably go very well with. So nice ones to add to my collection. So that was it for my accessory pouch. That was it. There was a tongue in there. So whew, moving on. Okay. So, ah, oh, look at this beautiful gold. This one, I think I requested for the possibility for my wedding. Again, I wish I had measurements for all these because, um, won't fit my brick of a cell phone. Hopefully by then I'll have a, a different cell phone, but Look at how beautiful this bag is. So maybe I just won't bring my cell phone to the wedding. It's not like I'm going to be taking any calls or anything, but I'll probably take pictures because okay. anyway, very nice bag. And let's untie this here. Whoop. Got another bag here. This um, was an add-on item, so it should have all my other add-on items in it. So it's just a plain black clutch, and it looks like... Oh, this is cool. It's a strawberry. Is that coming out? Eh. It's a gold strawberry, and it's, it's tarnished. It's not in the best shape, but it's... Yeah, I got a lot of add-on items, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, look. I love that. I love when the little... Uh, Change purse is attached in it. I don't really keep change in these types of bags, but I keep extra bobby pins in, in these whenever I have that kind of a bag. So, and I really actually like this bag a lot. Besides this being a little tarnished, it's in really good shape. And I'm going to a wedding this coming Saturday, which is in a couple days from now. I think this might be coming with me because this is going to be the perfect bag because, um, all my other black bags don't quite go. They're the wrong fabric. Um, like I have a, a velvet one and I have a beaded one and the dress that I'm wearing is a golden lace dress. So I feel like none of that really goes with it, but this does. And the little bit of tarnish is barely noticeable and just in time. Perfect. I was wondering what I was going to do for that. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's just dive right into this. So this is a bunch of clip-on earrings. So I got, there are these white ones, these like white stone ones. And uh, yeah, they're a little, a little dirty. I can clean those up real good. They're not signed, so I will futz with them. And then we've got these big chunky white ones. And there's these, some of the stones are a little bit dead in this one, but they're not too bad, you can see. So those, and then just these blue, plain little button ones, which are perfect for certain outfits. So that nice little combo of all these clip-ons. I'm uh, adding to my collection with these clip-ons here. Then I got these 
pink pink plasticky ones here. I have uh, a pink floral shirt that I just recently got. It's black and floral and I love it. Uh, I'm not a big pink person, but I don't mind it as accents. I just don't want like a solid pink thing, but uh, little pink accents. And I think that these will go quite well with it. So I've got those pink clip-ons and then these are also pink earrings that I got to go with them because I'll have to try on a bunch of different uh, things. These are uh, more of like a, you can see like a reddish kind of a thing. These are pink, pinky purple. I'm not great with the colors. Sorry. The only fancy color I know is like mauve. <laughs> and then these are red with a little bit of shimmer in them. You can see, and those are all post earrings. Then I got these red clip-ons. Perfect for just adding a little red touch to the outfit. Got a lot of add-on <laughs> items this month, so sometimes you just have one of those months. And then this, you can see, is a heart and leaf brooch. It's got a little bit of discoloration in it, but I thought it was pretty cool. And I like the chain hanging from it. I've been wanting like a brooch that has like pieces, like two pins with the chain in between them or something like that. I have sweater clips, so I've got that, but I want a brooch that's like that. So this was the closest thing to it that I've been able to find recently. I've been looking on um, Etsy and eBay and the only ones that I found recently were, they wanted way too much money for it. It's, oh wait. If something will fall in my lap eventually, or who knows, maybe someday I'll get one in my bag. All right, we got two more, and then I'm going to get to the clothes. Thanks for hanging with me, if you're still with me. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying to go fast. I'm trying not to ramble as much as I usually do. This is a white... How does this go? There, there we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. This is how it uh, closes. It's just white beads. But you know what, a plain white necklace, and I've got a ton of these now white uh, clip-on earrings to go with it, is great for spring, because I have a lot of like yellows with like white sweaters and pinks and blues, so perfect. And it looks like it's in really good condition. So it opens pretty easy, so I'm gonna futz with that a little bit to make sure I'm not gonna lose it. You won't lose a necklace the same way you would lose an earring. You'll feel that. My boobs will catch it anyway. And then this was the last of the add-on items. This bracelet. I have something sort of similar to this, um, so I wanted to see if it would match. Um, it's not quite the same. This is a Koro. My other one is a Lizner, so I know it's not the same, but they are the same colors. This might be a little bit too big for me, too. I have if you have not noticed, the world's smallest hands. And, oh, well, it won't fall off at least. It doesn't look quite right, but that's okay. I'll just, this will be the hand that always has the drink in it, so it just stays in the right spot, right? <laughs> that's the way you do it. And yeah, I love rings, but um, it's hard for me to find rings that fit. My ring size is a four or a four and a half, so I just have these little baby hands this could be worse. I actually have a half decent time finding um, vintage gloves because a lot of people had smaller hands back then and it seems like people now have bigger hands so I have an easier time finding gloves because I'm a size six sometimes like a six and a half. I'm rambling again so on to the clothes I see green. I've got a green dress. This is a Liz Claiborne this is very nice. Obviously it's a reproduction, but this is so nice. What material is this? 100% silk. I was going to say this feels like a good piece. Okay. Love it. Love the green. Love the, the little ruffle detail in the front. Well, it's, it's a collar, but the way that it kind of fits. And I can see that the, um, sleeves have a little bit of flounce to them too. So I'm not going to try these on right now, but I will try them on 
um, probably t in a day or two and I will link it when I post this I will do that so um, I will post that to my Instagram and then I'll link it so you guys can see it um, I will eventually edit my video so that I can just try everything on now but I don't really have a lot of time to do that these days but um, as the little one gets older I'm gonna have more time to do stuff like that so my videos will only improve from here and I'll start editing out some of my rambling as well so I see dots oh I see dots and look at this neckline my goodness so this is an R and K originals 97% cotton so that's awesome and it's got adjustable straps oh my goodness I am slightly obsessed with this dress right now this is adorable I really hope it fits me it says it's a size 12 so I'm like a size 6 or 8 10 depending on you know things so I know vintage changes but this has a stretchy panel so I'm hoping I'm hoping it looks like it should and it definitely has free free weight uh, hip their pockets oh it tricked me it felt like there was pockets in this I got super excited I that's okay I have so many white bags right now I'm so excited that now I have more things to wear with the white bag so I can't wait to try this one on and I've got one more thing left and it looks like it's another Hawaiian print which I adore floral and Hawaiian print oh this is lovely this is an Alfred Dunner I'm, I like vintage clothing, but I will admit I actually know a lot more about jewelry than I do about brands of um, clothes. So this could actually be something. I don't think it is. This is reproduction. But um, like I think this is 80s, definitely like an 80s skirt, but I love it. Very, very cool. And I like these colors. And we're getting into uh, spring and summer, so... I will be rocking these very, very shortly. As you can see, I'm still in my winter colors. Still rocking the jeans, but I cannot wait to start wearing. Oh, I love every single thing that I got this time. Like, I'm so obsessed. So I cannot wait to try this on for all of you. Thank you for sticking with me. If you made it this far, please subscribe because I um, plan on actually doing some of my savers hauls soon. I just recently got... I've been lucking out with uh, clothes there. I've been getting a lot of reproduction. I got a lot of true vintage. I got lots of scarves and gloves. I got some beaded bags that are unbelievable. So I'm gonna be sharing that with all of you guys. So please subscribe and uh, to get your very own box, go to redbirdvintagebox.com and you have two different choices. You have an all accessories option or you have the accessories plus clothing option, which is the one that I get. To get a discount on your first box, use the code KATEK10 and you will get 10% off of your very first box. See you on the next one. Bye guys.